What is going on you savages? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more WWE 2K19 coverage. And this is going to be a quick update following up on something that we covered yesterday in which I discussed how some of the files in the WWE 2K18 PC version of the game gives us an indication of what's to come in WWE 2K19. So we're going to be discussing uh, five uh, match types that has been found through those files and that we will more than likely be seeing them in WWE 2K19. Before we get into it guys, as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications if you haven't yet to be fully up to date on everything in regards to WWE 2K19. We're gonna be covering all of the reveals, the news, the updates and so on that are gonna be coming. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to turn on those notifications. So the first one that we are talking about is the one that I actually covered yesterday and that was the I Quit match in which we already have uh, files in the game out Audio clips of the I Quit match being announced. Is an I Quit match. There will be no pinfalls, no countouts, and no disqualifications. The only way to achieve victory is to make your opponent say the words, I quit. Something that I mentioned on that video was also the fact that chances are there are more files for other matches that are already in the game, meaning that WWE games have already started working on them. They just didn't make it to the final version of the game last year. Now besides that files, the recent one just found are for four other matches. And shout out to Smack Talks who recently covered it. And these are four matches that we certainly been waiting for it to be in WWE games. And they are actually returning matches from the SmackDown vs. Raw series, but also WWE 2K14, which was the last WWE 2K games that feature all these matches before moving to the current consoles that we're playing in, PS4 or Xbox One. So to start off, there is commentary audio in which you can clearly hear Michael Cole and Byron Saxon hyping up the Inferno match, asking the audience if we're ready to see the Inferno match take place. So instead of being a ring announcement, like the I Quit match, the Inferno match also has specific commentary lines for it. There's also commentary audio for the Gauntlet match, which again was also in 2K14, although it wasn't called by the same name. It was basically the whole defeat the streak and defend the streak game mode that we had in that game, which it will be absolutely amazing if they bring it back since Gauntlet match is coming back. There was also commentary audio for a match that we have been waiting for quite some time now, and it was rumored to to be in last year's game but obviously it wasn't I and mean, that is a mixed attack team match which we got a lot of this year in the mixed match challenge series that wwe had exclusively to facebook so we are certainly no stranger to that and the fifth match was a 40 man royal rumble match which again we actually seen it before already we just haven't seen it in any of the current consoles version of wwe 2k games so it's pretty cool to hear that that's possibly coming back but on top of all the interesting thing is that it more than likely gonna have to be 50 because we did saw the 50 men greatest royal rumble this year so if they end up putting 40 and not 50 it might not be the best idea because probably a lot of fans are gonna complain about it plus 50 is just 10 more right so i'm pretty sure wwe games could add 10 more superstars to it right <laughs> nonetheless guys that's what i got for you guys on this quick update i hope that you guys enjoy or found this informative if, if you did, I hope you drop a like on this video. If you missed the previous video, make sure to check it out because we also discuss uh, some other big information. Let's go ahead and try to go for 300 likes, you savages. We on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Much to you. Dig it.